Welcome to Tech Brothers Dharmir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create MySQL instance on GCP with a private IP. After that, we will be creating a VM on which we will install MySQL client. And then finally, we will be connecting from that VM to our MySQL instance by using the private IP. Let's go ahead and work step by step. The very first thing we need to do is create a MySQL instance. We'll go to the navigation menu here and then choose SQL. Once you click on that one, you are going to end up right here. Let's create a new instance. And here we are offering offered with the three type of instances. One of them is MySQL. Let's choose MySQL here. And now we will be providing our instance name. I'm going to go with the test MySQL. Okay, and uh, then uh, we have to provide the password for root user. I'm going to go ahead and provide the password. And after that, uh, we have uh, option to choose our version. I'm going to go with the uh, MySQL 8.0, but you have other versions available as well. Um, now, you can choose if uh, you will be using this instance uh, for production or development. Uh, I'm going to go with the production is fine. And uh, then uh, this is the region I would like to create my instance. Um, I'm going to go with the single zone in the region. Um, I'm not really worried about high availability because I'm using this one for demo. Now, if you want to specify the zone, you can do that. And I'm going to go just select any of them. Now, let's go to the more configuration here and take a look on machine type. Instead of four vCPUs, I'm going to go with customer and leave this two vCPUs and this memory. Storage, I'm fine with SSD, but I would like to have only 10 GB. Now, this is the important part of where we are going to use the private IP or public IP. If you see here, by default, public IP is enabled. And if I would like to connect to this MySQL instance, I can add an IP here. So let's say if I will find my IP on my machine, I can simply go ahead and add it. And then I will be able to connect from my local computer or laptop. The same thing you can add actually multiple IPs from where you would like to connect to this MySQL instance. Now, in this case, I'm going to just remove it and I would like to create this MySQL instance with the private IP. So, assigns an internal Google hosted VPC IP address requires additional APIs and permissions can't be disabled once enabled. And here is your associated network. Select a network to create a private connection. I'm going to go with the default network here. And then uh, uh, right now, it didn't ask me multiple questions here. But in the previous uh, demo, when I was doing uh, the my um, when I was doing the uh, SQL server, it asked me multiple questions. Uh, so it asked me creating the uh, private services uh, and uh, asking the connection, uh, uh, creating that uh, connection. Um, so in that one, it asked me, hey, what IPs you would like to select and all that. So I just leave everything to default. Uh, so once you do that, uh, this will be created. Uh, and uh, now that's why it is uh, already here. So that's why it is uh, showing me that. Now, if you want to see uh, what exactly I'm talking about, uh, I will put the video uh, uh, on the top uh, where you can select uh, and uh, take a look on that uh, what exactly steps I did there not a big deal you just uh, go with the default values there and it will uh, create the this uh, private services access uh, connection for the network default uh, that's what it is going to do so no, not, no, not there are like only two steps uh, where you have to say default uh, uh, IP or you want to use uh, choose the IP range so I get went with the default and uh, then uh, I enable one API for this uh, uh, connection um, so that was it you know that I did uh, anyways uh, not a big deal once you do see that then you can just click next and next there okay now here uh, uh, we are gonna go ahead and create this instance uh, and uh, once uh, this instance is created then we will be connecting from the VM right now I don't have any VM in, uh, available and uh, while uh, our instance is being uh, created uh, let's go ahead and create the VM you can search the VM here on the search and it will say VM instance compute engine or you can go to the navigation menu and select uh, the compute engine here uh, and then uh, select the VM instances uh. so now um, it is going to give us uh, different options to create our VM. Here I'm going to go ahead and say create instance and then we will provide the information. 
the name uh, is uh, given uh, called the instance one and region is the uh, US central one Iowa so that's I'm gonna leave this uh, region as it is and zone is also given here I'm gonna leave this one as it is um, you see that is a $25 uh, uh, monthly estimate and uh, 0 0.03 cents uh, uh, so three cents uh, for hourly that's fine with me and I'm gonna delete this anyways I'm gonna not change anything in the series but if you want some more powerful VM you can select series here I'm gonna go with E2 and the rest is fine two vCPUs and 4 GB RAM is just fine with me and now you see right here this is an instance and you have a Debian uh, Linux uh, on this uh, uh, VM that's the image it is going to install now we are all good here and if you notice here I'm not making any changes uh, and if you see here access uh, scope I allow the default access uh, here and uh, then I'm not making any changes to my firewall uh, and uh, if you go further here you know uh, everything is I'm um, leaving the default uh, okay so no, not uh, we are not making any changes here we are all good here and you see that uh, the network interface is the default uh, that's what the network uh, we choose the in the uh, MySQL instance uh, when we were creating it uh, so we are gonna leave this uh, as it is uh, now we are gonna go ahead and say create uh, okay so our instance has been uh, created or VM has been created uh, and you can see some values here that's the uh, internal IP and uh, this is external IP you net see it in the network default and the uh, same thing uh, what we have done and uh, when we were creating my SQL we selected uh, the network uh, default uh, so we are all good here we can simply SSH to this uh, VM and then install uh, my SQL uh, client so I open this one and meanwhile uh, our my SQL will be uh, created as well hopefully okay uh, let's uh, authorize this one it's asking my sign in and I'm gonna go with this one okay so let's continue while SSH is established and our instance has been created as well so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the instance and take a look here because we need the IP of that one now so if I uh, see right here this is my SQL uh, tab here SQL and then uh, once you click there this is our uh, MySQL is ready so you can see that the private IP is the uh, 172.21.160.7 uh, and if you click here you are also gonna see the same information uh, and you can see right here private IP so I'm gonna copy this IP and I have a notepad here that I'm gonna paste uh, so here is uh, my IP now first uh, uh, as you guys know that uh, I'm gonna install this uh, my SQL client so I have this uh, statement ready uh, it's called sudo apt dash get install default my SQL client that's what we are gonna do and it will install our my SQL client on our VM so I'm gonna open this one and then we are gonna paste right there and uh, just right there I will put this uh, statement in the description so you can just copy paste um, hit enter and now it's uh, working yes I would like to install and now it's installing all that and it should be ready in just a second okay it's all done so we can uh, just clear screen and now what we can do we can go back to our notepad and make uh, some changes here so this is a statement uh, you know or a command you will be using uh, to connect to your MySQL uh. so here uh, if you see right there uh, you will say mysql dash h and then say ip of uh, that machine and it's going to be private ip dash u and root is the pa username and p is the password uh, that it will ask for us uh. so we have to pro it is going to prompt uh, and we will provide uh. so i'm going to go ahead and uh, provide uh, this information here i will put this one in the description as well uh, so you can see from there so see right there it says mysql dash dash h and then IP private IP of that to MySQL dash u username root dash p and we will provide the password so copy this and now we are gonna go ahead and paste paste right there hit enter and it is asking us password I'm gonna go ahead and provide the password okay so and we are connected to the MySQL so now what we can do we can do many things uh, is we are connected with MySQL and uh, I will say show sure databases that's one thing I would like to see and, and there are system databases available uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say create a database uh, test uh, and uh, it will uh, create database uh, now if I run the same statement uh, it's gonna show me 
the that test database as well see right there so now i can say use test and then uh, test is there so now what i can do i can say create table uh, test and id integer and then uh, table is created and i can insert some uh, data into the test values and i will say 100 and then uh, i will just uh, select the data from uh, test table so notice here uh, we are able to do all those things from our uh, browser here and uh, as i was I'm connected with the mysql um, now if i go back to my portal here uh, i'm going to go to the right here to the sql and here i will see the instance uh, if i will click on the instance uh, then i'm going to see first of all i'm going to see the databases because i created the database and i would like to make sure i'm able to see it here so you right there test database is created and uh, you can see uh, it is a user type database um, and that's the one we were talking about like we created uh, uh, the table test inside the, and the inserted our row so this is how you will uh, create uh, MySQL with the private IP and then uh, create the VM in the GCP and uh, connect by using the private IP I hope uh, this uh, video will help you to uh, uh, you know move forward with your uh, learning and uh, also performing daily tasks. Um, uh, I will put all the scripts in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys next video.